I'm Paul Abrams. Join me as we explore East Texas lakes from the bottom up next. These stories and more next on East Texas News at 6. East Texas News begins an intriguing look at East Texas lakes from the bottom up. KLTV's Paul Abrams is a certified scuba diver and he takes us where we haven't gone before. Paul has found an environmental problem few of us are aware of because the cold, dark lake floors of East Texas are a place few people have ever seen. Some people have a deep, abiding respect for the natural beauty that was once this country. It's been more than 20 years since Americans first got a conscience about littering. This public service announcement from the early 1970s helped open our eyes. Texans in particular take roadside litter very seriously. Fines are stiff if you're caught, and the state's awareness campaign is second to Some none. people are such animals. Because we are concerned with our, our ecosystem, and we're concerned with the pollution, and it is a problem with us. But what about our lakes? They look beautiful. Every year, thousands of us enjoy these waterways. Our camping areas around the lakes are clean. Trash is usually put where it belongs. But all is not as it seems, because we can't see past the top quarter inch of surface water. They clean up our roadways and places where they really advertise don't mess with Texas, but you know, the, they dump it in the water and it's gone. People don't see it. And it's just building and building and building and eventually it'll get to a situation where it's solid dump ground in these lakes. It's a serious problem and a crime often rationalized by the ignorant. A lot of times uh, the people that we contact have the uh, misconception that they're establishing a habitat for fish, which is, is not the case. But at the water's edge is where the beauty ends. Starting tomorrow, East Texas News travels below the surface of area lakes to show you things you can't see from shore. What we found will shock you. Paul Abrams, East Texas News. And as he mentioned, Paul will be exploring three of East Texas' most popular lakes during the next two days at 6 and 10 on East Texas News. Proud of East Texas. 